First is uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending upon how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day, uh, and I was coding at night, seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period. And in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So uh, work hard, like it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say if if you particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100. Uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. Uh, the the other thing I'd say is that um, if if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to uh, attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect, or if you if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Uh, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that, that's the way to go. So, for, for any given company, just can keep thinking about are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Um, and then the, the, the final thing is, is to sort of, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend. So um, you may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine, and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense, or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things. Um, like quantum mechanics, so it's really a powerful, powerful method. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, and, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is, now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids. As you as you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to. Uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that uh, before you before you have those obligations. So I would I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. But there, there um, are a lot of negative things in the world. There's a lot of terrible things that are happening all over the world all the time. Uh, there are lots of problems that need to get solved. There's lots of things that are yeah that are miserable and kind of get you down. But the Life cannot just be about solving one miserable problem after another. Can't, that can't be the only thing. There need, to be, there need to be things that inspire you, that make you glad to, be, to wake up in the morning and be part of humanity. That's why we did this. This guy called Tsiolkovsky, one of the early Russian rocket scientists, the great saying, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but you cannot stay in the cradle forever. It is time to go forth, become a star-faring civilization, 
be out there among the stars, expand the scope and scale of human consciousness. I, I find that incredibly exciting. Uh, th that makes me glad to be alive. I, I hope you feel the same way. I, I thought, I, I was trying to think what, what is the most useful thing that I could, what, what could I say that, that could actually be helpful or useful to you in the future? Um, and uh, I thought I'd uh, perhaps uh, tell the story of um, how, I, how I sort of came to be here. How did some of these things happen? And, and maybe there's some lessons there. Because um, I, I often find myself wondering how did this happen? Um, so w w w when I was young, I, I, uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do uh, when, I, when I got older. Um, people kept asking me. And, and, um, but, but then eventually I thought that the idea of inventing things would be, would be really cool. And the reason I thought that was because um, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke, which said that a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Um, if, you if you go back, say, 300 years, the things that we take for granted today uh, would be, you'd, you'd be burned at the stake for. Um, you know, being able to fly, um, that's crazy. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively, uh, with, with the internet, uh, a, a, a group mind of sorts, um, and having access to all the world's information uh, I instantly from almost anywhere on the earth. Um, this, is, this is stuff that, that really would be magic, or would be considered magic um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined in, in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it, it actually goes, goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if, if, if I can do some of those things, basically if, if, if I can advance technology, then that, that's like magic and that would be really cool. Um, and the, the, I always had sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out wh what does it all mean? Like what's the purpose of things? And um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the, 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 the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened. And, and that's really the only way forward.